I drink way too much coffee today. Everyone's lining up to see you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My face might be a little bit swollen still on this side from getting my wisdom teeth out last week. So I haven't really been able to film because I had that going on and it was, it wasn't very fun. So anyway, today I am doing another which Brandy Melville items are worth it and which ones aren't. I just do these because you guys tell me they're helpful to know like which stuff you want to get from Brandy and like what's worth spending your money on so that you don't have to like waste your money on stuff that in my opinion isn't really worth it. Obviously there are going to be some things that some of you might like that I don't like or vice versa, which is totally fine. This is just my opinion and what experiences I've had with these items. So let's just get into it and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about some items and like my favorite ones or my least favorite ones and stuff like that. I have my list. Just so you guys know, even though I've owned a lot of brandy, I sell so many of my clothes and I donate so many of my clothes. So if you want to check out my Depop, that's where most of my clothes go when I don't wear them. Okay, first thing we have that I'm not really going to say I don't recommend because it's honestly just about fit, but the Arlo plaid skirt. So this one is more of a low waisted skirt, which I don't really prefer. I prefer a little bit of a higher waisted skirt just because I feel like I don't look very good in low waisted skirts. But I wanted to mention this one just so you guys know the difference. If you like a lower waisted skirt, you would probably like the Arlo skirt, but if you want a high waisted version that is also super cute and good quality, the Cara plaid skirts are great. They are the same price actually, so it honestly is just depending on which type of fit you prefer in a skirt. But for the Cara skirt, honestly, it tends to kind of like rise up as you like walk around in it. I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but I've always had that problem with it. Okay, the next one is the Erica collared sweater. I think this is genius. As you guys know, if you've watched my other parts of this little series. I am obsessed with the Erica sweater. It's one of my favorite things from Brandy. I think it is so smart to put a little collar on the top of it because one, I think they look so good with a collared shirt underneath and two, it like eliminates the other layer so you don't have to wear like more than one layer. They don't come in as many colors and they don't have the graphics on them like the other Erica sweatshirts but if you want a more simple one and you like the style of like a collar underneath your sweatshirt, I think this is so smart. I don't really mind wearing a collared shirt under my sweatshirt, so I don't know if I would get it, but if they came out with more like styles, I might. Okay, and then one that I wouldn't personally recommend is the Jessie skirt. I've tried this on before, and honestly, I just don't think it's worth $28. It's a pretty basic, just like short skirt, and the material isn't anything crazy, and it's $28, and I just think that's a little too much for how simplistic it is, and the fit of it is kind of in between low-waisted and high-waisted, and it's just kind of like a stretchy cotton material and I honestly would say that you could definitely get some cheaper ones. I will find versions of the ones that I say no to and like from other places and I'll link them down below. So if you want like a cheaper version, if you do like the Jessie skirt, I'll find one that's similar. Okay and then for one that I do recommend, the Tori Thermal Top. I love this top. I have it in brown. If you want just like a basic comfy thermal, this one is really good. Similar to some of other brandy stuff, it does tend to stretch out the more you wear it throughout the day. If I put it on the morning, by the time it's nighttime, it it usually is more loose fitting than it was when I put it on but once I throw it in the wash and dry it it's back to like the tighter fitting which is kind of annoying but I think it's such a great basic and I think it looks super cute with layering and I just think it's really comfortable and it's $20. Okay and then one that I would say is not worth it in my opinion is the page cotton top. So if you're going for like a cardigan style that's like this with buttons down the front I would say definitely instead of this one go for the Athelia knit top. This one's great it's like thick soft cotton and it's really good quality and I really like the fit of it because it's not super tight but it's like more cropped and I think it looks good with so many different things. I think it looks good unbuttoned with a little top underneath or buttoned up. The problem with the page one is just like thin and I just don't think it's worth it if you're going for that like cardigan style and it's 26 and the Athelia is 32 but it's honestly so worth a couple extra dollars. And then another one in that category that I wouldn't recommend is the Shannon super thin cotton sweater. This one is also 32 and obviously it says super thin in the name so it's kind of expected that it would be thin but it is like so thin I don't really see a point in it like you can literally completely see the shirt underneath it I think it could be cute unbuttoned if you like want a really light sweater but for $32 if you want something thicker that's like better quality I'd definitely go for the Athelia okay and then one thing that I would definitely recommend is the Abby cotton sweater I definitely prefer this over their other like Argyle print sweaters it's super soft and I also really like the fit of it because it's more like fitted and it's not like super cropped but it's not super bad 
baggy or anything and I honestly think $35 is a good deal just for how like good the quality is and how soft it is. Another thing that I personally wouldn't recommend is the, I don't know if it's Amelia or Amalia, but these pants right here, they are really cute. I think the fit is adorable, but they are super see-through. I don't really know what that's called, but it's almost like a gauzy material, like not super soft. It's kind of like a rougher, thinner material. I think they're really cute and I love like cream white pants. But yeah, they are super see-through. Like you can totally see whatever you're wearing underneath. I would say if you want a similar style of pants, go for the Tilden pants because those are super reliable in my experience. One thing I would definitely say is worth the money, even though it is pricier for Brandy, the Faith Puffer Jacket. It is $58, which I know is expensive, but let me just say, if you are looking for a puffer jacket that's super good quality and super cute, do it like just do it they have the cutest colorway on the website right now i used to have this in the black and red reversible one but they have this one and it's like a light sagey green and a bubblegum pink and it's completely reversible so you can wear it with the pink on the outside or the green i saw this on pinterest a long time ago when i had the red and black one and i was like oh my god i need it but they never had it on the website so go right now. I hope it's still on there when I post this. If not, they definitely have it on like Depop and Poshmark. Honestly, puffers can be so expensive from other places. I know the like North Face ones are super trendy and in, but they're so, so pricey. So if you want a super cute like winter puffer, but again, you can definitely find probably more affordable ones. I just don't know if the quality is the same. Okay, and then one that I personally wouldn't recommend is the Josephine Basic Top. It looks like this and it's $18. I personally am just not a big fan of the fit. If you want like a nice cute fitting little sweater like that, I would definitely say go for the Linda Top. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think the fit is so much cuter and the quality is also way nicer. It's a little bit thicker and softer than this one. And this one seems to stay fitted longer than this one. Okay, a little bit of a controversial one here because I know a lot of people like these. I think they're adorable, but I personally have a huge problem with how they fit. I've had a few colors and I've always wanted to love them because I think they're so adorable. The Amara tanks, I think they're so cute. Don't get me wrong, just can't wear them because of how deep the V is and how like wide it is. I don't have much going on up here. So this is saying something, but I literally, when I wear them, I feel like I, like it's so exposed and everything's about to come out. <laughs> I just hate wearing like tanks like that because I just feel uncomfortable. But I will say the reason and I included this is because I've always thought this little heart print one is so cute and I think the Amara tanks just have really cute prints but um I've talked about these before but a great alternative if you want like more like coverage and to feel more comfortable and also a thicker material I would definitely say go for the Lydia tank I've talked about this before but they didn't have the same pattern as they do with the Amara one yet I have it in black and like a tan color and I'm obsessed with it it's like the perfect fit it's super like soft but also like nice and thick. It's the same price as the Amara tank and I think the quality on this one is so much better and I just feel a lot more like secure in it and I don't like worry about it like slipping and being too v-neck so hopefully they come out with more prints in this like similar to the Amara but that's my opinion. I know a lot of people like the Amara tank so it's honestly just depending if you want a deep V or more of a straight cut. Okay and then the last one that I'm going to talk about is the duffel bags because I've talked about this before but they've always been super pricey. They're like $50. I have this one and I use it all the time. If I'm going somewhere overnight or something like that and I need a bag to put everything in. This is like my go-to. It's my favorite duffel bag. But I saw on the website that they actually have one for 38 right now. I don't know if the material is super different, but they're like 38 to $50. And the reason I like it so much is because it's super soft instead of like the athletic material duffel bags. It's like actual, it feels like like sweater material or like, like soft t-shirt material. And I just think it's so much like cozier and nicer to have something that's like so soft. They also have super cute prints. I know you can definitely find duffel bags for more affordable but i just love the material of this one okay guys so that is everything for this video if you want me to do another one and like instead of just going over the things that i haven't talked about yet i could like specifically go through the comments and answer your guys's questions about specific items because i do get a lot of questions from you guys and i try to answer them in the comments but if you guys wanted like a dedicated video to just answering your questions about specific items i can definitely do that so let me know down below if you want to see that and also leave comments like asking any questions you have and i will make a follow-up video soon so if you guys want that let me know and i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any video ideas that you want me to do make sure to leave them down below subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more from me and like the video if you liked it and we are so close to 30k so go subscribe so we can do another giveaway and yeah guys i love you and i'll see you next time